for them, you are using the card reader. You know, you actually, in, in, that would have been first of all. Let me let me bring this part. I, I know you made your point on this card reader matter, but when you talk about pushing people to the wall and allowing fair contests and not sending the wrong messages, but there are people who also interpret some of your actions as though it's pushing people to the wall. For instance, they ask that, why is it that you terminated the contract and concessions of subsidiaries for uh, Sahara Energy associated yeah. with your political opponent? No, see, that is the problem people have. People should Why move. now? Well, okay, when will you do it that you're not a political? 2015, we saw the Judicial Commission of Inquiry, and they came up with the report, and we came up with the white paper report, the, then, the former governor, who is Minister of Transport, went to court to challenge the white paper. He lost at the High Court. He now went to Court of Appeal. He lost at the Court of Appeal. Now he went to Supreme Court and refused to file his brief. And we now said, look, what's going on? We now filed that the, 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 that the appeal should be struck out for want of prosecution. He now went and filed his brief. Now let me tell you. So the lawyer said, so now what do we do? Is there any inhibition for us not to implement the report of the white paper? Now, Attorney General then said, no, we can go ahead and start implementing because there was no stay for us not to implement the white paper report. Right? Now, the Attorney General was to start the process of implementing before my Attorney General died. Of course, having died, we don't have another Attorney General. So we had to bury him. Having buried him, we appointed a new attorney general, who, of course, was not mandated to look into the white paper report. He said, look, you need some time to study it. He just came in. And having studied, he came and said, no, we can go ahead and start implementing the report of the white paper. So even if you do it after election, it will still be you did it because the man contested against you. Yeah, would you have done it if he wasn't the candidate? Of course. Why would, they, why would I not implement the, the white paper? What are the sense of setting up the commission in the first place? By spending government public funds? In that white paper, even the candidate was indicted. In that white paper, the man who, the purported candidate was indicted. Look at it very well. The gas turbine was built under the computer of this administration. The former governor sold 70% of this gas turbine to, to the candidate his business group, Sahara. So to the candidates, the business group. Olympia Hotel, owned by Bayasa University government, was given to the same group. That, that's what you, you, you found in the white not, paper? Not what, what I found out. Why do you, you don't know. Okay, it's what well, is there. I, I, I'm, the, I'm the chief executive, okay, well, we, so we, I have the document. Say, we haven't seen it. No, you so, should know, but uh, I have told in, you, in that I have the chief executive, the okay. evidence before me. Well, I know well, the company that were concession. So for 40 years, now, that was not enough. The whole of Abonima Wharf, over 50 hectares of land, facing the water, also given out to the same company. Well, well, now, so, I, I, so the these are allegations. Not, so, it's not allegations. Well, are since you are going that, to court no, with I, this? I, no, 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 the point no, I'm no. making is, since you're going to court with that matter. No, I'm not going to court. What was saying You want to implement the report, what, isn't it? The, the white paper report is all over there. Okay. If I were him, if the, what we're talking about, the, the candidate, I mean, uh, the, the two colonies group, they appear before the panel. Did they challenge the white paper report? Okay. They did challenge it. Let me bring in this other matter, which is also political, because uh, they accused Senator Abe of working with you to frustrate the yeah. APC in the state. And they asked, for instance, they don't know, understand why, if they, according to them, they said they might have reached out to him to appeal to him to shift his sword, but that didn't happen. You see, it's very funny. I, I, I can tell you this with all due respect. The last time I saw that Mango Sabe was when the president came to commission the, the new international uh, terminal. I've never, I've never spoken on phone with Mango Sabe. Never. I mean, people just, you see, the problem we have, we know the, we know the Minister of Trade. We have worked with him. When he was close, when he was working with, uh, with Abe, the bad person was me. It was me. So I left. Now it's Abe. Now I'm working with Abe. Is it me that told the minister, members of your party, whom you told to go and collect forms, paid their money, they went and paid to the bank, to, the, uh, to your party. You collected the money. Then you denied them 
their forms. Am I the one who said you should go and deny them our forms, having paid? You know, you go and create problem for yourself. You to turn around to say you are working with social media. What would I be to do what? They to do what? They're optimistic about this because they think that at the Supreme Court, yes. it could go in their favor. Yeah. And it puts them back into contention. And it what? throws panels in the works for you, you, doesn't that? it? Well, please, I have no problems about that. What I'm saying that, if Supreme Court says that, look, they have complied, we have no problem. What we are saying is that the law must take its due court. It doesn't matter who is involved. All I'm trying to say is that, look, how did Abe go to court? Abe felt, look, the court had notified the primaries who was indirect primary. And that him too, he had his own primary, which was direct primary. Therefore, having notified that, the primary that should stand should be the one that he participated. And therefore, the court should uphold his own. And the court said, look, this one is wrong. Your own is also wrong. I have no business with Abe. I've never spoken with Abe. But why would, do you know why we can't talk? You know why? It's unfortunate. If you are a mini, if, if you are working with the minister, you don't speak with anybody who's not in good terms with the minister. You what? don't do, you don't do it. That is a condition. Today, if anybody, if I go to the airport now, and you see one of the boys of the minister or those working with him. And they're talking with me. And they see anybody who's close to the minister, the way they will run away from there. That's a self-imposed law. You can see what is going on that, that for Christ's sake, I can't talk to either a senator representing River State. Because if I talk to him, we are working together. Your Excellency, how come? It's so, it's so, it's so unfortunate. How would, you, how would you work to end this appearance of politics of bitterness in the river state? That's not politics of bitterness. The only thing is that somebody wants to create a dynasty. I hear from that there used to be one or two states that happened. So if that can happen in those states, why not river state? That's the only problem. So you are not creating a dynasty? I don't need to create a dynasty. What for? What for? Why should I create a dynasty? All right. We'll take a look at that. If, if, Pardon me, Excellency. Yes. We need to go to one more break, but we'll be back in a moment. Don't go away. <music> Welcome back to Sunrise. Your Excellency, what must be done for there to be peaceful elections in River State? The only thing that like I've been waiting for that I need be neutral. Police leave the people to vote for whom they want to vote for. Protect the workers of INEC, protect the voters. Don't aid talks to come and cut away materials. You too, don't come by yourself to carry materials. And let me tell you this, and that is what I've always said. And it, it turns me when I see people, people look, INEC, if the serious, well, they say they are serious of the institution, INEC, I've always said it. I next set up a committee to investigate what happened, what happened in 2016, 2016 wrong. Powerful committee. They came up and wrote a report to their body. Sir, sir, police compromised. Police were the ones who perpetrated, even beat up our own staff. Led by the, the OCSAS, I came for Korea. Not me. But INEC also said I'm, that I'm coming, I'm coming. the report wasn't all in Kampasa because they didn't invite some person. Oh, they had, they please, please, that. please. I, you see, that's why we're getting this wrong. INEC, you set up a committee. The committee came back to you. See the man who caused our problem? It was Chamberlain. He ate this. He beat up our staff. And they said they wrote a letter to the IG. IG, see what your staff did. IG came, oh, we set up a committee that exonerated. I agree. But INEC, if a true organization, what INEC would have done, say, look, no, no, no. Please, 
for this our elections we don't want this body. Yeah, because you see, police must also protect their own, must also protect their own institutions, defend themselves. So police will not come after and say, yes, we, are, we accept. Which body is that? And next you say they don't want police? No, all I'm saying is that you have identified, you have identified a personnel of officers, police officers, whom you say perpetrated this act. And they're going to say, IG, for subsequent uh, for elections, please, we don't want this kind of officers. We want to have free and fair Let me also tell you, it's unfortunate. We have a report from the same police signed by the Deputy Commissioner of Police in charge of State CID, who also indicted the same Akim Fakorode. Said, look, Akim should be tried to court. He was the one who aided this electoral malpractice. I have the report. You know what police did? They killed it. I said, I have the report. The same I killed for the is in real estate. They've told him to apply the law. So this report. But this that case is not under investigation. Of what? He has gone to court against the real estate government. This is a police officer. You say you are, you are, you are fighting crime in real estate. You are taking the state government to court, and you are still in River State to fight crime. Yeah, but Excellency, you, you, you've identified. Is, is, look, let me tell you, one institution. What about I your people? Not, and, and, which and my people? Let me tell your you. Your supporters, don't they have any responsibility in these elections? I have told you, and I challenge any security officer, be it State Department, be it the police, be it the Army, I challenge any of them, be it Navy, be it Air Force. Be the civil defense. I challenge any of them, any of them, who would say, I've either called him one day, release social person. All right. I, I say so because one thing I will not do. If I thought to do involvement of gone, let me tell you, any man who can make it for seven can be a friend. No when, matter whatever you look at it. When it's white so now. You, must, you must know. All right, the yeah, problem so we have in this, and which will. Police, they are preparing. We need and to, we know. We need to I go need to come point. at play. Tell we, Nigerians, I need is not sincere. We need to go at that point, Your Excellency. To conduct Thank you very much, indeed, election. Your Excellency. But we will resist. We will attempt to reach in um, this state. We will. His Excellency, yes, when we get governor of River State. That's the show today. We came to you live from Port Harcourt in River State. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm Chamberlain Nusso. I'm Gemba Umar. I'm Neil Taiwe. Bye bye. The views and opinions expressed by guests on this program are those of the maker and do not reflect the views, opinions and endorsement of Channels Television.